Hey, happy Thursday. How y'all doing? You know, I got a message yesterday. Someone asked me a good question. They said, you know, you've set a time frame, you know, you did things in a year, worked on growth and so on and so forth and stuff. And, you know, should other people put time frames and this and that and all that? Listen, I'm at a place in my life, I, I've worked on growth for so many years. This isn't something that I just started a year ago or some, something like that. You know, I've worked on growth for a very long time, but there were certain behaviors I had I needed answers to. And what happened a year ago is, you know, with my breakdowns and meltdown and everything, learning I was neurodivergent, that gave me an answer that I had. And the thing is, it, it's all about timing. I had a friend, Katie Davis, that had done a post one time and talked about, you know, divine timing, timing was right, you know, so on and so forth. And that's the thing. The timing was right in my life. All of the things that I did, all the growth that I did up until that point, you know, all that came into play. It wasn't like I just woke up one day and said, I'm going to change in a year. I changed my life completely. I was already on that path, but this was the right time. You know, if this, if I would have learned I was neurodivergent earlier, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, I don't think things would have happened the way that they did. I don't think it would have helped me the way that it has now because now I have the maturity to de to have dealt with it properly, to have really invested in it, invested in myself, invested in my care, really the maturity to learn about it, to just hyper focus on it and do the work that needed to be done. I have that now. And again, I've been on this planet for five decades. So, you know, I'm not a child anymore you know I've been through so much stuff I've grown through so much stuff I've gotten to certain points and stuff like that so no there's not a time frame on it but with me I had the greatest motivation you know and that's love you know that's that's really what pushed me and positioned me and and got me you know at the right point at the right time to go and do something to change things is love, not just for my best friend, but for other relationships that suffered due to, you know, neurodivergent breakdowns and meltdowns and stuff, even in my past and stuff, you know, I was able to really just heal a bunch of relationships in my life and stuff. But yeah, the biggest motivating factor there was, was love. So I urge you, if you need a motivator, that's your greatest motivator. Look at some of your relationships. If relationships have suffered due to different behaviors and you're not sure about that stuff, learn about that stuff and then heal those relationships. And you'll find that is one really, really, really good motivator. So anyways, I love you. You're an awesome, amazing human being. Peace out, mom.